A shocking case coming to light this afternoon. Three refugees from Tanzania and a 16-year-old boy are charged with rape. Ada County Sheriff's deputies made the arrest. Now, these three are the adults, 18-year-old Sweaty Iombelo, 19-year-old Elias Lubango, and 19-year-old Rashidi Mulanga. Not pictured is the unidentified 16-year-old boy who for now is being handled by the juvenile court system. All four are accused of forcing themselves on an 18-year-old woman and raping her inside of a car parked in a CUNA neighborhood. Today, CBS 2's Scott Logan was at the Ada County Courthouse as the three adults made their first appearance. He's live to tell us what prosecutors are saying. Well, those three made their initial court appearance via video proceedings, and they spoke to a judge through an interpreter. Iombelo, Mulanga, and Lupango were charged with raping an 18-year-old woman on February 7th in CUNA. Few details are being provided, but prosecutors in court said the victim initially made contact with Iombelo through social media, and she agreed to meet him. When she showed up in her car, prosecutors said there were three other boys present, which made her apprehensive. However, prosecutors said Iombelo got in the car along with the juvenile, and Iombelo initiated consensual sexual contact with her. Prosecutors said at one point she told him no, but he did not stop, and the three others took turns raping her. Prosecutors said she repeatedly cried out no, but was afraid to resist because she believed they would hurt or kill her. The alleged victim went to police who tracked down the defendants using her social media account. Posing as her on social media, police arranged a meeting with at least two of the defendants who prosecutors say showed up with condoms and male enhancement pills. The three defendants told the judge none of this is true, but the judge told them they would enter a plea at a later hearing. The public defender said the defendant's version of the story is the alleged victim knew there were going to be four boys and she had agreed to have sex in exchange for money. Now, prosecutors say that police have emails or texts between the alleged victim and the defendants. They, the prosecutors say the police even have a video of the four defendants apologizing, a video that they sent to her uh, after uh, this incident. And two of the three uh, adults have been in the area for several years. The third has been in Boise just for a few months, and they have a preliminary hearing on February 27th. Live at the Ada County Courthouse, Scott Logan, CBS 2 News. And we'll be following this case as it moves forward in court. Head to IdahoNews.com to follow it with us. There you can find updates as they are released, and be sure to download the CBS 2 mobile app for alerts straight to your phone.